Hi guys, this is How to Play Born Under a Bad Sign by Albert King, a fantastic beginner's um, blues riff. We're going to be starting off with your first finger at second fret on an F sharp note. We're going to go to your third finger at fourth fret uh, for your next note on the lowest E string. And then we do those same movements again but on the A string, first finger, second fret, third finger at fourth fret. And let's do those four notes one more time, all in a line. Give us a demo. Pretty straightforward. One, two, three, four. Play them one more time. The counting's a little funny for this song, but let's just try and play it together in three, four. One, two, three, four. That's it. Three, four. Three, four, and then we go one string down again with your first finger, playing second fret on the D string, but then back on yourself to third finger, a fourth fret on the A string, the note you've just come back from. So those last two notes again, first finger, and then third finger, and those nice and slow with the whole riff in its entirety. And again, and the last one. And as I say, the timing is a little funny on this song because that last note, which is a C sharp note on the fourth fret, is the key of the song and happens on beat one. The other notes happen before beat one. So we're going to play this riff, then I'm going to do it to a count. And I'd like you to join in with us playing it now. So uh, from the first note, let's start the riff. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. And join in at your own time. And that's how we play the main riff. If that's something that you're still getting used to, you can cycle that throughout the whole song and uh, play along to Albert King's version of Born Under a Bad Sign and it will sound absolutely fine. For those who want the extra content, there's another section which is a very short chorus which goes from first fret, first fret, second, third, then fourth. <laughs> Nice little finger workout, and this is for the section. If it wasn't for bad luck, you know I wouldn't have no luck at all. Do it again. One, two, three, four to the timing of the record. To the timing of the record, three and four are a little bit quicker. And then four, four, three, two. That section one more time. It only happens once at a time in the song though. If it wasn't for bad luck. And then we go back to the normal riff. If it wasn't for bad luck. You know I wouldn't have no luck at all. Five, one, two, three. And that section always happens after he said the words born on a bad sign, been down since I began to crawl. So if we just start off playing the riff and then I'll shout out when we go to that next section.
been down since I began to crawl. One, two, three, four. Four, four, three, two. Pause there for us. One riff, and then we're into that section, okay? So just watch for the change. Riff. Straight into. One, two, three, four. Riff. Okay, so let's do two riffs this time, or three to allow you to join in at home. So three riffs, and then into this chorus section. Three, four. One, join in. And one more. First fret, one, two, three, four. Four, four, three, two, riff. That's how to play your chorus section. There are also a couple of variations which we're going to show you now. So variation number one of the main riff. Cycle that a couple of times for us. So it's going back on itself, first finger to third, and with a little hammer on if you want to get that extra bit of content there. We also have uh, the variation going to the open E string. So we play the first three notes of the riff and then hit the open E string for a whole beat. One, one, two, three. let me count the notes through. Three, four, one, two, three, four is the open E string. Third finger. Then to end the riff at 4th fret. That variation one more time because it is my favourite. Doesn't have to be strict on when you do them. This is a blues jam, so you want to do them after you've cycled the main riff a few times, you then go in. For a demonstration of that, three or four times through the normal riff. to give you something else to think about. We can also play this same riff an octave higher again so that so that we're making it more entertaining to do the same notes one more you know over and over again. We're gonna move up to 14th fret. Now this is two frets above the double dot on your guitar. And we're gonna start this riff from your first finger at 14th fret but then just play all the same finger movements. Everything's much narrower together. Nice and slow. Can't do the second variation. We're just going to go for the normal way of doing this. This is so that you can move from the lower side of the guitar to the higher side and get used to moving between the two. So you play the normal riff. Not one after the other, but a few times, 30 seconds on the first one, and then 30 seconds higher, and that's going to get you used to preparing you on your lead guitar journey when you want to be playing rhythm guitar and lead guitar in the same song. That's the end of this lesson. Thanks for checking us out. Please subscribe if you've liked this video, and I'm sure we'll see you again for more rock riffs.